Hi there, I'm Dr. Gary Simmons from Kralian Clinic Neurosurgery and I want to talk to you today about herniated cervical discs. Now that's fancy terminology on our side and what that means is when uh, discs are having problems in your neck. So cervical disc is uh, discs within the neck. And we're going to talk about when cervical discs actually herniate or rupture or slip. That all means the same thing. And that's when some of the inner stuff of a disc, of a cushion of your spine, rips out, rips out through the outer wall and pushes up against important things in your spine. Now, when discs herniate, when the inner components of the disc push out, it's like a chunk of crab meat coming out pushing up against tissue within the spine. In the neck, these herniations often occur backwards and off to the side, and backwards and off to the side is exactly where nerves are trying to get out to move your arms, to help your arms, to have your arms have sensation. So when a nerve gets pinched by a piece of crab meat, that nerve can act up and start giving you symptoms anywhere it goes. And the typical symptoms are a screaming pain that runs through the neck, through the shoulder, and out all the way through the arm, often all the way to the hand. The pain can be of multiple different types of characters. It doesn't have to be one, one type of pain. It could be sharp, it could be stabbing, it could be electrical, it could be like your arms on fire, it could be a weird numbing pain. You also can have numbness, tingling, and you can have weakness in various types of muscle groups. For example, if it's your C6, your sixth cervical nerve, you may be weak in your biceps muscle. If it's your seventh nerve, you may be weak in your push-up muscle, your triceps muscle. If it's your eighth nerve, you may be weak in the hand. So you may have a screaming pain, you may have a numbness and tingling, you may have a weakness, or you may have a combination of all of those. Usually, almost always, it's going to be down one arm, not down both. And that's caused by the chunk of crab meat pushed up, wedged up against a nerve. The good news is, it usually goes away. Not the disc herniation, not the crab meat, that'll sit there for a long time. But often the pain will go away and you'll feel much better within four to six weeks, often without any treatment, just by taking it easy and letting it chill out, letting it go away by itself. When it's not getting better is when we start to come into the game where surgery may be considered or shots in the neck or both. Now, to warn you about one other condition, that occur that can occur with a herniated disc in the neck and that is i said that often the the crab meat will go backwards and to the side but if it goes backwards straight backwards rather than pinching a little nerve it pinches the entire wiring or the spinal cord if it pinches the entire spinal cord that can be a very serious medical condition called a myelopathy because now rather than just affecting one nerve, it affects all the wiring in your body from that point down. And what can that do? It can affect your arms and legs to the point of even paralysis. So if the spinal cord is badly pinched, you can start having problems with all your arms and legs. And the earliest signs tend to be uh, in balance. Your balance tends to, to go, particularly in a dark room where you're not able to use what we would call visual cues, your ability to see around you to, to help supplement your balance. So you're, you're trying to go to the bathroom at night and it's dark and you notice that you're tipping over real easy because you can't really feel where you are in space. That might be an early sign. Further early signs would be a tightness and stiffness in your legs where they almost become spastic like they're hard to manipulate and maneuver. And those signs we would need to see you about early. We'll talk more about these type of conditions in further sessions. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.